Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. Over the last past month or so, especially high tech stocks have gotten crushed here. We have seen the Nasdaq gone down almost 8% over the last one month, and then a lot of other popular ETFs like ARK and all sorts of things, they've also gone vroom and down the drain. We're starting to see a little bit of a pickup here. The Nasdaq has bounced back just a bit over the past two days or so. Is this the time to get on the bad wing? Is this the time for you to reinvest your money into tech stocks? Let me give you guys an update based on today's market analysis. Those of you new to my channel, my name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street trader. Uh, for details, please see the description area below. Uh, would appreciate it if you guys subscribe, press the like button, and also press the notification button next to the subscription button. Then you can get some updates as to whenever I send out a new update or a post or a video, you'll get a notification if you're interested below. Uh, today currently is Tokyo Japan time. It is 11.25 a.m., meaning that it is May the 18th, uh, Tokyo Japan time, but it is still uh, 9, uh, sorry, it's 10.25 p.m. on May the 17th, New York Eastern time. So let's get, first get started here. What happened overall in the markets today? Was there a big reason as to why the markets rebounded today? I didn't really see any big reason of anything uh for the most part markets are rebounding today in asia very very strongly and i don't see a big reason for it uh europe we didn't have that big of a movement for the most part euro stocks 50 was today down 0.26 percent in the u.s markets the dow jones down 0.16 this is basically just meaning no movement at all very quiet markets in the u.s and europe and then asia is rebounding very nicely so overall i didn't see much news i think that this is just the market starting to uh i get get exhausted with the selling pressure and perhaps we're starting to see some buying pressure here and looking at the charts it may be an interesting time to get in on this tech sector especially the nasdaq but let's do some more due diligence let's look at the markets today let's look at the sectors let's look at some volatility and then at the very end i will give you my conclusion on whether I think it's the right time for you to jump on the bandwagon and stop buying and start to buy tech stocks or not. Again, guys, if you're new to my channel, if you're new to investing, feel free to check out my channel homepage. There is a playlist that's called Investing for Beginners. Check that out. Also, the description area you can see below some brokerage accounts I use, etc. Other information. If you guys are curious, check that out as well. So, first and foremost, guys, let's look at the charts here. The NASDAQ right now currently has been in a decline stage looking at the MACD since about April 20th. Uh, this two these two lines have been going down it crossed here and it's been in a decline trend it hasn't changed yet it looks like it might trend i mean it looks like it might change here just looking at this blue line where the blue line is starting to go up now which is interesting this happened before around early march so we may start to see a cross here it may be an early indicator however it hasn't quite crossed yet uh, the RSI is still below 50, albeit very small, and it looks like it may cross upward, but it hasn't quite yet. Uh, Bollinger Band, it's sitting in the middle of this big band right now, so it could go in either direction, either way. This is interesting because looking at the Dow right now, Dow Jones, still in a decline trend of the MACD, hasn't really changed much. Uh, look, also looking at the S&P 500, still in a decline phase. They all are in a decline phase, and they look like they want to cross upward, but they haven't yet. Also looking at the Russell index, I thought this was interesting. The Russell index to me looks like this may actually cross sooner before any other one. So the Russell is starting to make a nice rebound a little bit sooner than the other ones. So we'll see if it can continue to make this rebound or not. Uh, let's look at some other sectors today. I want to look at the sectors and see the volume. Uh, looking at the Dow Jones ETF volume today. Oh God, this is so small. That's worrisome. S&P 500, the volume also tiny. The NASDAQ as well, volume is tiny. And IWM, the Russell ETF volume is so small. When the volume is so tiny like this, it's just like, ah God, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I just don't really feel like there's buying pressure. You know, it doesn't really feel, I, I just don't feel very confident. I want to see that day that, at least just one day where the volume goes up huge and say, oh, okay, okay, the buyers are back, right? The buyers are back. Now I feel better. But right now it just doesn't feel that way yet. Uh, looking at some other ETFs here. Home builders, nothing really going on. XBI, God, these are the biotech. You know, biotech is very sensitive to the NASDAQ. 
Uh, and this is starting to cross, it looks good, just the volume isn't quite there yet. I do like the fact that it's crossing though. Uh, SOX, this is the uh, semiconductor index. This index really has got the cross. Uh, it looks like it may cross soon, uh, but the volume today was so small. It was going down today, so that's good. So going down on small, small, uh, small volume, that may be a good signal for the market, especially because, guys, looking at the SOX index, this actually peaked on April 5th. And this was before the NASDAQ peak. The NASDAQ peaked around April 15th. So I kind of feel like right now the SOX index is a leading indicator for the tech stocks overall. Uh, this is the semiconductor index. So we got to keep a close eye on this. Uh, otherwise, we saw today the metals and mining ETF on fire. Gold prices, oil prices, they're all on commodity prices are just on fire right now, uh, as well as the energy sector. So commodity prices did very nicely today. And all the other sectors really no movement. So I'm keeping my eye, I think, on the semiconductor index. Uh, otherwise, looking at volatility right now, it's at 19.7. This is the VIX index. I feel like this is potentially starting to go back down here, although it hasn't crossed yet. I want to see this cross. Uh, this MACD has been pretty accurate. It almost crossed here May 7th. It didn't. I want to see this go a complete cross. Maybe it needs one more day of down on the volatility. And then I think I would feel a little bit more uh, safe and secure that we are back in a downtrend on volatility, which probably means an uptrend for the U.S. markets. Uh, so listening to all this, what's my sort of consensus? Should you be buying tech stocks right now? Uh, should you be just ignoring this? Should you be waiting? Let me give you my updated opinion on this situation uh, and what I think you should be doing with your money. As usual, guys, investing is and always will be self-responsibility, guys. Uh, do note that whatever I say in my videos, of course, sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong, but you got to take it with a grain of salt. Uh, my main channel is in Japanese, but I do post this every day in English because, yes, I was raised in the U.S. for the most part. So, guys, just to, do take this with all with a grain of salt. Got to always take responsibility for your own money. Uh, well, the main point is to get you guys investing. It's not always to say, okay, I want you guys to listen to what I'm saying and copy what I do. I think I want everybody to start investing because governments around the world are all bankrupt and they're all going red and red and red and red. And we're finding good solutions like Bitcoin and cryptos. But another big solution globally is we just need to increase our financial education. So we're all investing. We're all taking care of our own retirement account instead of just giving it to the government because I'm not really relying on Social Security, any sort of government pension plan around the world. I don't think it's very reliable. So, guys, with that being said, long-term investment, keep 70, 90% of your uh, investment uh, in long term, this is for your retirement account. Every single month, put a little bit of money into your long term investment account and just keep doing it over and over for years and years. Don't stop. No matter what anybody tells you, don't stop this because you are going to make money in the long run. Even just three, four, five percent every single year, this can add up over 30 years and you can double, triple, quadruple your money. So, just guys, just be careful. Do not stop this. You always want to keep going with investments. Uh, short term investment wise, this is a section that I've sort of been hedging lately. I've been shorting and then sort of covering myself. It's, it's basically, this is the hedging. This is the insurance part because I got both, most of my money here, 70, 90%. So this is the area right now that over the last couple weeks or so, I've been thinking, uh, things look a little dangerous. What do I do? I'm probably going to short a little bit because things look a little scary just in case the market goes down. Now I'm looking at this thinking right now thinking, okay, maybe it's time to change a bit. Uh, and I'm thinking, especially I'm keeping my eye on, okay, so the ARX ETF, this has not crossed yet, but if this crosses upward, uh, I think that would be one important indicator because this ARK ETF has become so popular, it's almost like a barometer for tech stocks overall. The ARK ETF peaked on here, February 12th, and it's just gone down here. So this is a leading indicator for the tech stocks. I think keep an eye if this is going to go up or not. And then the other leading indicator, I think, is the semiconductor index. So the semiconductor index as well, uh, it peaked here around April 5th. So keep an eye on this. Both of these, if these cross upward on the MACD, then I think it's safe to buy tech stocks. Until then, nah, -uh. I think I'm going to sit and do nothing. Uh, I think for the most part, for short term, I'm going to cover a little bit. So I've been shorting, shorting, shorting. It doesn't mean I'm going to go long, as in it doesn't mean I'm going to go, okay, now I'm going to think tech stocks are going up. It just means what I've been shorting, I'm going to start to buy back a little bit here. Buy back some, take some profits, etc. 
then get ready. Just keep my position small because right now we're at that like turning stone where markets could keep going down or they could keep going back up. It's very hard to tell right now. So this is when you get your position small decrease positions just make it small 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 so that once we get a better idea on the direction then we can go bigger we can maybe short more we can maybe buy more but this is the waiting point this is we got to the turning point we're at a crossroads here it's going to go this way or that way for markets so i think right now you decrease your positions for shorts get ready to buy more long and wait sometimes the hardest thing to do is the right thing to do and the hardest thing to do right now is to wait to do nothing i think that's the best advice for your portfolio right now thanks guys for watching my channel if you enjoyed today's content please press the subscribe button the like button as well as the notification button so you can get daily updates on whenever i post a new video you'll get a notification thanks so much guys have a great week and i will talk to you soon